the Greeks. The Greeks are measurements of the three main variables in options, security price, implied volatility, and time. Volin's main value is in tracking Greeks for various tickers at different expirations and for puts, calls, and both. Delta. Delta shows how much profit you can expect with a $1 increase in the underlying stock price. This Greek is also interpreted as the percent chance the option ends in the money. Delta represents how many shares of the underlying the dealers need to fully hedge their position at any given moment. Dealer Delta is assumed to be immediately hedged or at least before the end of the day. This is because this is the immediate risk that dealers assume when they accept an option's position. Gamma. Gamma is the sensitivity of delta to movements in the underlying price. Dealer gamma positioning is inversely correlated to standard deviations of realized volatility. In other words, as dealer gamma exposure decreases, volatility increases. It is helpful to know this data on a strike-by-strike -strike basis to know how the market will act as it approaches each strike. The higher magnitude of gamma at each strike, the more that strike can act as an accelerant or support and resistance to the underlying market. A large positive gamma bar would act as support or resistance, while large negative gamma bars would act as accelerants. Delta, adjusted gamma, or DAG. DAG helps us see, in one view, if dealers would need to strongly buy or sell the underlying at those strikes due to gamma. This is because gamma itself does not give hints on what direction that strong move can happen. And calculation of DAG is basically to flip the sign of all strikes higher than the current price. Therefore, when you see a green bar in DAG on the exposure sheet, it represents dealer buying, while red DAG represents dealer selling. VANA. VANA is the sensitivity of deltas to changes in implied volatility. It could also be interpreted as changes to VEGA based on movements in the underlying price. To be more precise, VANA measures the change in deltas for every one point change in annualized implied volatility on that particular option known as fixed price volatility. Dealer VANA positioning is inversely correlated to market trend. In other words, if total dealer notional VANA is positive, the market trend will be negative as long as implied volatility is increasing and vice versa. On an individual strike basis, positive VANA will act as a magnet while negative VANA will act as a repellent, assuming implied volatility is acting in accordance with its spot vol correlation. One quality of VANA that makes it unique is that the exposure is positive or negative based on its position to current price. For instance, an out-of-the-money put has negative VANA because as implied volatility decreases, its delta increases and trends from negative delta towards zero. But if that same put is in the money, it will trend towards negative one delta instead of zero. So the VANA is positive because as implied volatility decreases, the delta also decreases. VANA has a larger impact when implied volatility is high because implied volatility has more fluctuations when it is high. Particularly in SPX, we estimate 85% of VANA is hedged through VX futures. In individual equities, VANA can be hedged by swaps but are more often hedged with other options due to the lack of liquidity in equity swaps. Charm. Charm is the sensitivity of deltas to the passage of one day in time. Cumulative dealer charm positioning will help determine the daily bias in the markets. Time to expiration is always decreasing, and the exponential portion of it is accounted for in the actual measurement. Due to the changing value of each day as we approach expiration, charm is the most volatile indicator in Voland as an option approaches expiration. Like VANA, charm exposure is positive or negative based on its position to current price. However, because we calculate it as the passage of time, quote, plus one day passing, it is the opposite sign of VANA on each strike. Charm cooperates with VANA when IV is decreasing. It never cooperates with VANA when IV is increasing. Both VANA and charm calculate the effect the option premium has to deltas. VEGA. Vega measures how much profit is made on the options position based on a one-point increase in annualized implied volatility. Dealer Vega is not necessarily immediately hedged as market makers have a wider risk acceptance for Vega than for Delta. To an extent, Vega risk is assumed to have realized gains through mean reversion, but it can also be the first indication of dealer stress. We assume 85% of Vega is hedged, but Vega can be a source of liquidity strain to dealers and can cause vol events. Theta. Theta measures how much profit is made on the options position 
position based on the passage of a single day. Dealer theta represents how much dealers are making or losing due to the passage of time. However, because time is a constant, dealers can hedge this through similar methods as they do Vega with VX futures and swaps. In fact, if dealers are very long theta, VX futures will tend to have a higher premium to the VIX, the underlying asset for VX futures.